Eduardo Agualusa. Born Jose Eduardo Agualusa Alves de Cuna, December 14, 1960, age 62. Nova Lisboa, overseas province of Ang Angola. Language Portuguese, nationality Angol. Genre Angolan history. Notable works, a general theory of oblivion. Notable awards, 2007 Independent Foreign Fiction Prize, 2017 International Dublin Literary Award. Jose Eduardo Agalusa Alves da Cuna, born December 14, 1960, is an Angolan journalist and writer of Portuguese and Brazilian descent. He studied arg agronomy and silviculture in Lisbon, Portugal. Currently he resides in the island of Mozambique. Working as a writer and journalist, he also has been working to establish a public library on the island. Agualusa writes predominantly in his native language, Portuguese. His books have been translated into 25 languages, most notably, notably into English by translator Don Lian Han, a frequent collaborator of his. Much of his writing focuses on the history of Angola. He has seen some successes on the English-speaking literary circuits, most notably, notably a general theory of oblivion. That novel, written in 2012 and translated in 2015, was shortlisted for the 2016 Man Booker International Prize and was the recipient of the 2017 International Dublin Literary Award. Bibliography a Conjura, novel 1989. Dean Nicolau Aguaroseda er outras historias verdaderas e inverosimais, short stories 1990. O Carcao dos Bosques, poetry 1991. Afera dos Asambarados, novela 1992. Estacao das Chuvas, novel 1996. Nacao Criola, novel 1997. Fronteras Perdidas, Contas para. Viajar, short stories 1999. Am um, Estrano en Cuba, novel 2000. Estranjos es Bizarro Cos, juvenile literature 2000. E Substancia de Amor e Autras Cronicas, Chronicles 2000. O Hormen que Parece un Domingo, short stories 2002. Catalogo de Sombras, short stories 2003. O Ano M. Quezumbi Tamau Urio, Novel 2003. O Vendedor de Pasados, Novel 2004. Manuel Pratico de la Vedicao, Short Stories 2005. As Morelas de Muy Pai, Novel 2007. Naruta das Espiras, Guide 2008. Baraco Tropical, Novel 2009. Migrayo Pesol, Novel 2010. Teoria Gerald de Escuencamiento. Novel 2012, Aedu Calco, Sentimental das Pasaros, Novel 2012, Avida no Goy, Novel 2014, Ariana Ginga, Novel 2014, Olivera dos Camelones, Short Stories 2015, Asociedad dos Sanjadores Involuntarios, 2017, The Society of Reluctant Dreamers, Trans Daniel Hahn, 2019, Os Vivos e Os Autos, Novel 2020. He also published, in collaboration with fellow journalist Fernando Semedo and photographer Elsa Rocha, a work investigate reporting on the African community of Lisbon entitled Lisboa Africana, 1993. A girl's play, Aquela Mula, was performed by Brazilian actress Marilla Gabriela, directed by Antonio Fongens in Sao Paulo, Brazil in 2008, and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 2009. He co-wrote the play Coven Amores na Rua de Matador with Mozambican writer Mia Cotto. Translated works. These novels were all translated into English by Daniel Hahn. Crawl, Naka Creola, novel 2002. Tells the story of a secret love between the fictional Portuguese adventurer Carlos Fratih Mendes, a creation of the 19th century Portuguese novelist Ecadi Correios, and Ana Olympia de Camina a former slave who became one of the wealthiest persons in Angola. The Book of Chameleons, Movendador de Pasados, novel 2004, an excerpt appear in The Gods and Soldiers, the Penguin Anthology of Contemporary African Writing in 2009. My Father's Wives, As Mulheres de Mabai, novel 2008, Rainy Season, Esta Cauda Chuvas, novel 2009, a Biographical novel about Lydia do Carmo Ferrari, 
uh, the Androlan poet and historian who disappeared mysteriously in Luanda in 1992. A general theory on oblivion, of oblivion, Terroria Geraldi Equim Miguento, novel 2015, tells the story of Angola from the perspective of a woman named Ludo, who barricades herself in her Luandan apartment for three decades, beginning the day before the country's independence. A practical guide to levitation, stories forthcoming, the living and the rest forthcoming. Non-fiction work. Agolusa writes monthly for the Portuguese magazine LER and weekly for the Brazilian newspaper O Globo and the Angolan portal Read Angola. He hosts a radio program A Hora das Cigarras about African music and poetry on the channel RDP Africa. In 2006, he launched with Conchardi Lopez and Fatima Otero, the Brazilian publisher Lingua Coral, dedicated exclusively to Portuguese language authors. Criticism and Interpretation Agulasa's work was described by Ana Mafalda later as something providing a link between history and fiction between the account of past events and the description of what might have been possible. The critic continues, The author tries to capture the moment in which history becomes literature, to illustrate how literally imagination takes precedence over the historical by means of the fantastic and unlike revision of life. Her assessment of the author's skills is as follows. Agolasa gives evidence not just of solid historical research, but also of the literary talent which brings these characters to life. Awards In June 2017, Agolusa, alongside Daniel Hahn, his translator, was awarded the International Dublin Literary Award for his novel A General Theory on Oblivion. Agolusa's works beat a shortlist of 10 titles from around the world, including one written by Irish author Anne Engwright. To claim the 100,000 euro prize, Agolusa was afforded 75,000 euros personally, as the translator Daniel Hahn was entitled to a 25,000 euro share of the prize money. Macau Criola 1997 was awarded the RTP Great Literary Prize. The Book of Chameleons, 2006, won the Independent Foreign Fiction Prize in 2007. He is the first American writer to win the award since inception in 1990. Agolusa benefited from three literary grants. The first awarded by Portuguese Centro de Cultura in 1997 to write Nacao Creole, Creole. The second given in the year 2000 by Portuguese Fundacao Orient, allowing him to visit Goa, India for three months, which resulted in Um Escanto and Goa, the third. In 2001, was prestiged by the German Deutsche Akademie Archdorschendisch. Thanks to that grant, he lived one year in Berlin, where he wrote O Anno and Que Zumbi de Mo e Rio. In 2009, he was invited by the Dutch Residency for Writers in Amsterdam, where he wrote Morocco Tropical.